I got to school for three years. Everything was good. And I finished, I start working only for a few months. And then I don't feel good. And he take me to the hospital. And he found I have cancer. And I was very, very sick, very sick. I can't put even my head up. And this is the reason, and I call Rabbi Lando, because I'm divorced with two kids, and I don't have money to pay the rent and for food. The first time when I call Rabbi Lando, and he said hello, I said, in Hebrew, of course, Shalom, Rabbi Lando. He said, Shalom, how are you, and that? And I start crying, so what's wrong? So I tell him, I start telling him, and I get sick with cancer. And I start telling him all the story, and I don't have money for rent and for my kid, and what my landlord said. If not, I'd be in the street, and that. He was so sad. And he said, stop crying, I'm coming. I'm ca and he come right away, he come right away. And he see me, and I go through treatment. And even I can't talk, I was so weak. And he respect me and he come to me. This was big, big honor for me, Rabbi Lando come. And right away, he make sure I have food for my kid. Right away, he said, give me the name for the landlord. And right away, he paid the landlord. And from this day, he look after me to today. He make sure and I have food. He make sure my rent pay. And he calling all the time. And I never forgot, and I was in the treatment and the chemo too, I get another phone call. And my daughter, she was in the exercise room, and she wanted to come out, to come home. And the glass, the door glass in the exercise room broke and followed to the eye for my daughter in the face. And I'm getting phone call from the police and ambulance to come right away. And I'm in the middle of the chemo. I take everything for my skin. And I run to the hospital to see my daughter lose one eye and everything blood. I never forgot this picture. And I was there, sick, sitting, falling for my chair and waiting seven hours for the operation for my daughter to take all the glasses from the eyes. The day after the operation, I called Rabbi Lando and I said, Rabbi Lando, pray for my daughter. I think my daughter lost the eye. So what's wrong with don't call? I said, because everything, everything happened fast and I'm in the therapy and the chemo and I get phone call. And the police come take me to the hospital because when the police call me, I say, I'm in the chemo and I don't have car. I don't. He said, where are you? And I tell him, and he come right away to the hospital and he take me to the hospital and he take all the information. I get money from Chabad, I get food from Chabad. Everything I wanted, Chabad there for me. Rabbi Lando, he tell me anything and he just look for my health and for my daughter. And it's not done too. And, I'm, and, my, and I was in the operation with my daughter for the third time in the hospital for the eye. My son had an accident with TTC. He was sitting with his friend in the car and TTC, TTC come in the back in the car. And then I get phone call again. The ambulance, my son taken him to the hospital, the TTC. And again, who to call? Rabbi Lando. In the future, one thing I can tell you, I was once, and I have everything, and because of my sickness, I lost everything. And I promised you today, no, or ever listen to me today, God working in mystery. And I wanted people to know, and I have, I give. And I give not because I want to receive it, because I grown up in home. Even you have a piece of bread, share with everybody. If somebody hungry, don't give it to be hungry. This is what my father teach us. The moment and my future, it come back to me good. With money, the first thing, and I do this Chabad.